Man, <laughs> seriously, Buhari, Buhari and Tinubu, they are a disgrace to leadership. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I heard Buhari say in an interview with two media personnel. I think I believe they are from Channels Television. They asked Buhari what he thoughts about 2023 election <laughs> this man this man said it's not my problem and he went further to say that uh, and nobody should ever call him for anything that everything he did is on record. Nobody should call him to any court or that person would be in trouble. <laughs> oh my God. What a disgrace to leadership. Buh in fact, Buhari is a poor excuse for a leader. He's not a leader. That's what I mean to say. Leaders are always eager to help. Leaders want to be called on to help. If you look in the Western world, President Obama, he would, you know, I love that man to pieces. He is still active, serving, serving, lending, uh, his hand to anything he can he can to help move the country forward and let's come back to even Nigeria uh, former president Obasanjo he's still out you know lending his voice to anything progressive and this man Buhari he's even supposed to still be in power He's talking about uh, 2023 is not his problem and that nobody should call him. Oh my gosh. This man has never or never intended to lead. He only intended, only ever wanted to hold power and do nothing. The whole eight years this man has bankrupted Nigeria. He will borrow money from China and go to London for medical treatment. All Buhari did was eat, sleep, travel to London for medical treatment. Buhari is a liability to Nigeria. You know what liability is? He was basically good for nothing. He did nothing for Nigeria. And he still had the audacity to say, and nobody should call him to ask him any questions, or the person will be in trouble. Excuse me, what have you done for all the money that you have consumed? All the all the bills you have run up, all the debt that you ran up on the Nigerian people, on the future generations of Nigeria. You borrow money, you eat, sleep, travel to London to take care of yourself, then give some of it to Niger Republic and give Nigerian people the bill. And you have the audacity to say nobody should call you. Anybody who calls you will be in trouble. Well, I'm, I'm letting the next president of Nigeria know that they should never hesitate to call on Buhari to answer questions when the time comes. Who does this man think he is? Who does Buhari think he is? Buhari called uh, Nigerian youths lazy. Yes, I agree. A lot of them are. But Buhari, Buhari is the laziest, laziest man I have ever seen. 
take a, a, a leadership. A poor excuse for a leader. Shame. Shame on you, Mr. Buhari. Shame on you. Do, 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 do you have advisors at all? Yes, you do, but they have no clue themselves to allow you to come and spew that rubbish, that shameful thing. What a shame. What a shame. Nobody should call you. What a lazy, a lazy uh, 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 thing to say. An arrogant thing to say. You are our servant, not the other way around. You are servants to the Nigerian people. Not the other way around. Nobody will be in trouble for calling you to answer questions. If I became Nigerian president today, Buhari, you will answer questions. You will answer questions. You owe us. You owe Nigeria. Who do you think you are, man? You are a servant to Nigerians. Nobody is going to get in trouble for calling you to answer questions. You need to withdraw that nonsense you said. Nonsense. Nonsense. And then, uh, 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 Tinubu, Tinubu says he put you in power. And now it's his turn to rule. What that means is that it is his turn to torture Nigerians. Like you, Buhari, have tortured Nigerians. Bu uh, uh, Tinubu says it's his turn to take over and torture Nigerians. Like you have tortured Nigerians for, 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 for eight years. This person you're looking at here, supported you in your first term when you you lied you made us believe that you will be president for all people uh, how did you put it no one for i can't even remember and i supported you over jonathan because you were in my opinion you were the next best thing after Jonathan, because Nigerians were already crying because of Jonathan. And I thought that your military discipline, just like I have a military discipline, having served in the U.S. Army, I thought that you, the discipline of your military service would enable you to serve Nigerians well. Not knowing that you were lying the whole time. You were lying that you do this or that. As soon as you, you, you won the election, next thing I heard that 5%, uh, 95%, you are going to ignore uh, uh, the people that didn't vote for you and only be president for people who voted for you. A poor excuse for a leader. That's what you are. A leader, a real leader, is president for everybody, including those that did not vote for him and those that voted for him. A, a real leader would even work harder to change the minds of those who didn't vote for him. But what did you do? You punished the Southeastern people for daring, for daring to, to protest the bad treatment uh, uh, they've received in Nigeria. You punish them instead of hear them. What a wicked man you are. Wicked and lazy. Wicked and lazy. And now, you and and Tinubu want to foist yourselves upon Nigerian people again. Tinubu, you know what? Anybody that voted for Buhari the second term, 
is the people I blame. Because if you voted for him the first time, I wouldn't blame you. Because you believed all the right things he was saying. But after the second time, after the first time he did nothing, you went ahead and voted for him again. I blame you. And then I even blame more the people talking about voting for Tinubu. Tinubu that, that is more frail than Mr. Buhari was. You can see Tinubu now, he cannot even stand on his own for one minute. Every time you see him in the video, uh, people are holding him uh, very tight from side to side so that he doesn't fall. This man cannot say a, a coherent sentence. He cannot make a coherent sentence. And... You are supporting him to become president. What do you think becoming president is about? Oh, I guess you think it's about sitting in Aso Rock, sleep, eat, uh, sleep, wake up, eat, then go to London for medical treatment. That's what you people supporting Tinubu, that's what you think uh, uh, the presidential position is about. Well, it is not, that's not what it's about. The presidential position is an active position where the occupier of the seat works actively to serve the, the country. You work. How do you think that Tinubu is going to work? A man that cannot stand on his own for one minute. A man that cannot make one coherent sentence. You think he should be the president of a country that is already uh, 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 in a deep depression. It shows the kind of person you are. All of you people supporting Tinubu to be president. You people are the reason why Nigeria is in a deep shit right now. You people are the type of people that inflate uh, contracts. You people are the type of people that steal money from the country, from, from, the, uh, uh, from whatever uh, company and organizations you work for. You people are the kind of people that collect money to uh, tie the road, but you put it in your pocket. You people are the type of uh, people that uh, send uh, kidnappers to to get money from from people. Bec do you know why? Because you can see that uh, Tinubu cannot perform in the position you are supporting him to take, which means you know that he's not going to be the one doing anything in that position. That there will be people around him doing whatever they like. They are even going to be the ones signing his signature. That is rogue. That is criminal. Every supporter of Tinubu is a criminal. You people are the what the very thing that is wrong with Nigeria and may God never allow you to succeed in this plan. Just like a cabal have run Buhari, Buhari just uh, uh, sleeps, wake up, eat, go to medical checkup while some inner circle cabal are doing whatever they like with Nigeria. That's what you want Nigeria to suffer again. God will never let you succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. God will not allow such, such um, uh, atrocity to come upon the Nigerian people again. And I'm using this opportunity to, to encourage, to strongly urge the Nigerian people to not allow this to happen to them. 
again do not allow this this um charade do not be blinded blindsided again by this atrocity with all due respect to tinubu he simply is unfit to become the nigerian president he is not physically and mentally fit to be the Nigeria president. And the Nigerian people must set a standard, a minimum standard of qualification for a person who can contest to be a president in that country. Nigeria is in a deep depression, is sick economically, socially, uh, 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 every way possible. Possible. It needs a drastic turnaround. And a sick man like Tinubu is not, <laughs> he does not qualify, period.